We are back in Way of the Hunter on Transylvania doing a realistic hunt for some fallow deer. Hope you guys enjoy. Got some twig snaps nearby. Of course, I don't really know what that means in terms of what animal it is. I don't really know exactly where they're at. They're definitely over this direction somewhere. Alright, so my gut's telling me they're down this way. Somewhere down close to the flat area. There's a hill here and they kind of taper down into the road. And I think they're down there by the road. Don't really know though. Alright, so best bet then, since that is the case. It's probably work my way to my left. And down by the water. And then come up this way. And I just gave a call. I missed it before I, uh... Or they stopped before I could hit the button to record again. But they're over that way somewhere. So I made the right call going to the left. Now it's just a matter of finding these guys. I'm not going crazy, right? I know I heard fallow deer. Or even boar. They're definitely here. Yeah, without a doubt. <laughs> Where are these guys at? Hi. Okay. <laughs> well, found him. Oh man, of course. Now I gotta wait for it to refresh. Well, while it's refreshing, let's work our way to this tree. I'll give a couple more calls, but I just don't think there's anything crazy in here. That has a really small herd if it's only three. Another question, which one's the oldest out of those three? Well, I don't want to take the female. So we definitely want to take one of these guys. Give one more call here. But I've got a feeling that is the only two males. And that are in this herd. Alright, let's take a look at them. See which one's the oldest. We'll take out the oldest. They're both pretty old. I think this guy might be a little bit older. Alright, well, we've got... Three to choose from... Well, technically two. And I think this guy's the oldest, so if he stands up and gives us a shot, we'll take it. I don't think this guy's old enough yet. Oh, here we go. Are there four? No, I think there's just three. He should be dead. And I hope he's dead. <laughs> Looks like a good shot. Definitely need to grab the zone, though. Which is right here. Thank you very much. Oh yeah, he's dead. That's definitely a long shot. And I saw him go this direction, so let's track the blood here. He should be expired. Yeah, he's right there, actually. I was say, he should be expired pretty quickly. Look at this path. Holy smokes, it's a very defined path. Until you get into the woods, and then it just disappears. Alright, yeah, this guy's very tiny. I'm gonna say he's a two. I'm hoping he's a mature. I think he's mature. He's a two-star adult. He was not the oldest, then. Or if he was, then... The other guy was a young, which means this guy was probably the one to good, good to take out. And I'm going to say he might have made it to a three. Maybe. Unlikely, though, but possible. Well, I've got some boar in front of me. I just don't have a boar collar, so I don't really know what's high fitness and what's not. So I'm not sure I want to bother. I might just spook these guys. Nope, we're not spooking anything. Alright. I need to see all these guys first before I decide to go after these guys. Hmm. Looks like they're all pretty small. Pretty young. I'd say that's a young. I'd say these two guys are adults. So I might pass on this herd. 
I do want to grab their zone. I just need to make sure I find it. So I'm going to let them do their thing, work to their rest zone, and I'll go pick up their zone. We're going to pass on this herd, and we're going to move to another one. All right, they should have reached their rest zone by now. Been following them for a while, but I think they're still up here. Went and grabbed their uh, drink zone down there. I should be spooking them pretty soon. Which I'm fine with. We're not going to take anything out of this herd. Just want to get the, the rest zone. Oh, there's a feed zone there. They shouldn't be feeding yet. Right? I mean, if you look at the thing here. Fallow deer. 3 p.m. They should be resting. That's interesting. I don't know the science behind that, but they should not be feeding right now. That's for sure. All right, got some twig snaps in front of me. We are over here on this herd now. I didn't find this herd's rest zone. I did find another eating zone for them, though. Red deer. Don't really see any... Yeah, I don't see any big boys in there. I really don't want to spook them. Never mind. They wasn't too bad. He's still kind of small. All right, let's see if I can find their zone. Found it. Okay, I'm a little confused right now. Guess see where I'm standing, right? Top of some rocks. Yeah. Okay. Why does it say there's water here? <laughs> little confused. Pretty sure that's fallow deer down there. Can't guarantee it, though, because I can't really see them. But based on the color there, it's either roe deer or fallow deer. Possibly red deer, but unlikely. Sounds like fallow deer. That is definitely fallow deer. There's no way it's just him, right? That's crazy. If it's just a loner, we obviously take out the loners, so... He's just a loner, we're taking him out. Obviously nothing special there. How you doing, buddy? Don't worry about it. Okay, there's two. That guy's not bad. At least two. Alright, let's give a call and see if we get a high fitness. Now, of course, we gotta wait for it to refresh. I hate this. Why is it just... Why isn't it refresh in my pocket? <laughs> this guy's just staring me down like crazy. Don't worry about it. Ain't nothing but a chicken wing. Alright. Taking him out. He should be dead. I see you. Just need to find your zone now. Didn't make it very far. I'm gonna say this guy's a two. Yeah, I'm gonna say he's a two. Okay, he's a one. Adult, 69%. Might have made it to a two, maybe a three. If you got to a mature. Nothing special. Not gonna find their zone. Well, I've searched the area, but I cannot find their zone. I'm not quite sure where it's at. Heard some twig snaps nearby. I'm guessing it's probably whatever is owning this zone right here. My guess is it's fallow deer, which is what we're after. So, I think they're nearby. It means there's also probably a rest zone nearby. If this, of course, is a feed zone for fallow deer. And definitely over that way. There's more twig snaps. And indeed it is fallow deer. So my guess is over here is going to be a rest zone somewhere for fallow deer. And based on the last couple of feed zones I've seen, or I mean rest zones I've seen, they're probably down in a valley. So my guess is they're down there somewhere. Or close to it. They're close. They're right there. Oh, there's some big boys in that group. Okay. Are there any five stars? No. Get a little closer, getting with that 200, 200 yard range. And we'll uh, give a couple calls here and see if we can get any high fitness in there. There's a big herd there. Yeah, that's a big herd. We might have a big boy here, guys. If not, that guy right there is the one to take out because he's gray as can be. So I have a story to tell while I'm sitting here. And uh, I'm going to try to call these guys in. I need to get to a different spot, though. I don't like this one. 
It's not bad. It's just I'm on a hill and I can't see what's coming at me. So I'm going to pro my way up here while I'm, while I'm talking about my story. So on the flight home from Chicago, there was no direct flight to where I live. I had to take a, uh, a connecting flight in Houston. I had a layover of about an hour. I met this guy. I had to sit next to him in the plane on the exit aisle. Which, by the way, if you didn't know, the exit aisles on planes usually have the biggest space between seats. So if you really want space, that is the seat you want to be in. Or in, or in obviously first class. But anyway, I digress. Um, so I met this guy. I, I won't say where he works and I won't say his name. But he works for a pretty big company. And he makes a lot of money. Let's just say that. He manages uh, their high-end clients. And he was going golfing with them. That was where he was flying to. So we got to talking. He was at the uh, Sphere in Las Vegas uh, that previous weekend, which would have been Halloween weekend, the weekend before Halloween. Where are you coming in, lady? That was a clearly a uh, high fitness call for a male. Anyway, we were talking, and we got off the plane, and he said, Hey, I, c I can get two people in this club. Do you guys... Not like a party club, like a airline club. Do you guys want to come and get some free food and drinks? I said, shoot, yeah, let's go. So we got off the plane, and sure enough, he was a member, and we got into the club for free. And it was great. I had breakfast. Uh, it was like 6 o'clock in the morning, 7 o'clock in the morning. Looks like this is going to be our high fitness. I don't think he's old enough, so I might go ahead and take the older guy. But yeah, it's kind of cool seeing uh, the club, because obviously I don't I don't make a lot of money, so uh, I would probably never get to see one of those clubs if I was not invited, so it's kind of cool. That was uh, an experience for me. Okay, it looks like we have two high fitnesses, but... Uh, I don't think either one of them really that old. I really want to take that guy because he's the oldest. And these two are pretty young. Yeah, you're definitely not worth taking out. Neither are you. I think this is the guy right here. Yeah, he's the oldest. He should be dead. Please tell me that's a long shot. Sure looked like a long shot, but you know, sometimes I'm wrong. Also, I have to find their zone. It's like right here, though. I think I see it. Yeah, there you go. He did. Gonna give him a little little while to expire, and uh, we'll go track him down. And well, there he is. He didn't make it very far at all. He is most definitely the oldest. Watch him be a young. Looks like I hit a rib there. Looks like we did double lung him. That's good. You can name him a little bit lower if I wanted a hard shot. Two star mature, 54%, good to take out. I did want to mention that I will be working on a roe deer video. Uh, it might be week after next or week next week, I don't know yet. Uh, I'm still trying to get some images together for a thumbnail. Apparently AI is not very good at making roe deer, I don't know why. But it just keeps putting these giant racks on these guys and I'm like, that is not even close to a roe deer. So I'm trying to find the correct prompt to use here for this situation of making a, a correct roe deer. Yeah, I just want to let you guys know that we have a roe deer in the works, and uh, I know a couple of people have asked for some roe deer, so I'm working on it. Just got to get the images first. So as soon as I get those corrected, we'll be good to go on making a video. Well, I think that's going to be it for this episode, guys. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please head down and hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to leave a like as well. I really do appreciate that. Also, leave a comment. I'd like to hear from you guys. I'll catch you guys in the next episode. Have a fantastic day. OCG out.